Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, I am the Miss Nicole Marie. And today we have a very exciting video. But if you have seen this, then you have seen my last video. And if you haven't, you should go check out my last video. I'll put it up in the eye in the corner so you can watch that. I got this from Misguided and I had a whole dress haul and this is a huge sweater dress. It is ginormous but the rest of the dresses that I got were all for spring and summer but today it is well I'm in my basement so it's a little cold down here so I thought I'd just throw on this little hoodie and yeah, go check out that video if you want to see this. It is adorable and there's so many cute outfits that I got from that haul. So check that one out. But without further ado, let's get straight on into the video. So as you guys saw from the title today, we're going to be doing viral TikTok beauty and like skincare type hacks. So I'm going to dive right in with the first item that we have. And this is CeraVe ultra light moisturizing lotion with sunscreen and this is a special type of sunscreen let me give you a close-up here this has spf 30 in it and it has a matte finish so this is not going to go on oily or make you look shiny this has a matte finish and i don't have any makeup on today because i want to show you how this works and how it goes on let me get a little closer to you here now i did already put this on quite a few hours ago actually to go out but it just comes out white like this and you just rub it on and look how just smooth that is i don't look shiny or anything this is great. There's no shininess. It's a very matte like finish. This is a moisturizer and it also helps restore the protective skin barrier. It has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So this is just full of everything that is good for your skin. Besides if you want like another moisturizer on top of this, this is very light moisturizer, but it does also have sunscreen and it's a matte finish and it has hyaluronic acid in it so i've been using this for the past week and also if you think that you don't have to put sunscreen on in the house you are wrong i thought this for the longest time that if i wasn't going outside i don't need sunscreen on you know apparently that is just very very wrong yes you do need sunscreen and I finally had, I heard this quite a few times, but no one's ever told me like the reason why. And it's because through the windows, UV rays can still get on your skin, can shine through. It's not a complete UV barrier at all times. So yes, you do need sunscreen. This will help fine lines, sun damage. It will definitely help keep your skin looking nice, looking young. So yes use sunscreen in the house as well all right so this next one is a beauty product i guess it's not really a hack but i've seen these everywhere this little lip balm it is color changing apparently and you see it has a really cute flower on the inside so this is from blossom and you can find these at target I had such a hard time finding this at Target. I actually had one when I first went to Target a few weeks ago and then magically it didn't make it into my bag somehow. So I had to go back, try to find a new one. They were all sold out. The next two, three Targets that I went to also sold out or I couldn't find them anywhere in the store. So I had to pick this one up online. It got shipped to my house. I have it now it's all good but it was quite hard to find this i think a lot of people are trying to find these now this one looks a little damaged actually oh man it is very damaged i haven't looked at this but this is very very damaged it's broken right there now that i notice it's been like kind of moving around and the top of it doesn't look very um perfect it's kind of got some bumps on there so we're gonna try it out anyways. These are only a five dollars. I see just how broken this is. Oh my gosh, it's like tipping off. 
it is very very broken but anyways we're gonna try it anyways <laughs> i think the stem of the flower is like holding it together mm, it smells like strawberries It is a very strong smelling of strawberries. That's a pretty color showing up though. I did get the pink. I think my lips were a little pink already, but I don't think they were that pink if I am mistaken. I have no idea. Oh yeah, that is definitely pink. That is not my normal. That is pretty pink. This comes, I did look on the website. There was pink, red, purple, and I don't know. I feel like there was a fourth color. But there was definitely pink, red, and purple. I went for the pink, something more neutral because I kind of just wanted to, you know, be able to put this on just for a little color, but not when I have like a full face of makeup, obviously. Just wanted to be able to put this on if my lips were looking a little dull. But this is a really pretty pink. It is very neutral still. I mean, it smells really good. I wish mine wasn't broken, but. That's a bummer. It is still cute. Everyone's been talking about these on TikTok. Everyone loves these things. I say they're pretty good. It's only $5, which I'm pretty impressed with. If you don't find these in the store, definitely check online. They most likely have them online. All right, the next product is yet again a skincare product. This is a cleanser that everyone's been raving about. It is the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. Now, this is gentle cleansing and exfoliates while softening and smoothing skin. It's supposed to be non-drying, non-irritating with ceramides and hyaluronic acid as well. I, this one I was a little hesitant on because I did try the, the CeraVe foaming cleanser last year, I believe. And I did not like that at all. I am pretty hesitant on this and I did slowly introduce it to my skincare routine because it does say it exfoliates as well and my skin is sensitive so exfoliating every day is not something that I normally do to my skin but this has no beads in it it is very it has kind of a gel like consistency it's pretty thick but it looks like very watery in here I do actually really like this it doesn't irritate my skin at all it hasn't dried it out, it hasn't made it feel tight. That was the big problem with the foaming cleanser. It made my skin feel very tight afterwards, which I did not like at all. This one does not do that, so I highly recommend this one for especially people with acne prone skin like myself. Um, it's supposed to remove all the dirt and it's supposed to be very good for acne prone skin. This one I think does work. I would not recommend the foaming one unless you have like super super oily skin but the foaming one did not work for me this one works a whole lot better definitely recommend this one I think it works great so my acne has gone down quite a lot and I think this is definitely staying into my skincare routine all right so the next product that we have is yet again another lip product I don't know how much this particular product has been raved about on TikTok, but there have been others like it. This is the cheaper version. I got the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. I know there's a lot of different plumping glosses out there now. I didn't know this was a thing until TikTok showed me it was, so I just wanted to try out the e.l.f. brand. I do have quite a big lower lip. So I really don't need it on there, but as you see, my top lip is pretty thin. So I wanted to see if it plumped it up enough, if it made me look even because I feel like they just don't look even. But I want to try this out and I did get a nice color. They do have a lot of different colors in this product. So let's try this one on. I'm just going to do my top lip first and see what happens. I'm waiting for something to happen. I guess there's a little like sensation in my lips. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling something now. Ooh. I feel it right up here on the top part. It's just like, what is that feeling? It's like a very, very slight tingling sensation. Is it plumping up? I do not know. Ooh. 
tingling sensation is definitely getting like a lot yeah a lot more tingling sensation now this feels very weird i don't know all right it's been a few minutes since i put it on it looks like there might have been like a little bit of change it's still pretty tingly, but I'm not really sure if it's doing a whole lot for my upper lip. I do want to try to put it on my bottom lip and, I guess, see how big it can get. Alright, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Alright, so I've had this on for about five minutes now. And I'm not sure how long it takes for the plumping process to be done, but I just wanted to show you kind of the progress. Kind of hopefully I can find a side by side to show you of how big my lips normally are compared to how they are now with the plumping on them. So I feel like it did plump up the top lip a bit. I did eventually put this on my bottom lip as well. I just wanted to see, I guess how big the difference would be. I don't think it's like a huge difference. I definitely see it on my top lip a little bit more. I put that one on first, but I mean, yeah, I see it in my top lip. It's a little bit harder to tell on my bottom lip just because it's already like a decent size anyways, but I don't know if there's a huge difference. You be the judge. Um, I will put a side by side up to hopefully let you see the difference. Hopefully that helps. I honestly can't judge just sitting here if it made a huge difference or not. Anyways, let's move on to the next item. All right, and the next item, I don't know if this one ever went viral, but I saw a couple of different people post about it and I needed to pick this up. This is an acne spot treatment. This is a different gel, Adipoline gel, 0.1%. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that name. This is what the box looks like that you would find in the stores in Target. It was previously only available by prescription, so now you can get it over the counter. I'm consistently using this for about two weeks now. I have no idea how many different types of acne spot treatments I've been using over the years. I've tried everything from like the drying lotion, from Clairsell, off brand. I've tried Burt's Bees. I've tried so many different acne spot treatments over the years and none of them have really worked for me. This one works, let me tell you. So once you take it out of the box, it looks like this. I have been using it, just this small tube. This is 0.5 ounces. I've been using it for two weeks, it's only like that much gone so it does last a little bit so I've been using this like I said two weeks pretty consistently every single night this visibly will reduce the appearance of your acne overnight now I've tried this multiple times I've tried it on different spots I had a spot up here I've had multiple spots here I put it on right here last night you can tell there is a small spot there and it is reduced overnight not completely gone i will say that it does not make them completely disappear overnight but is visibly smaller overnight i did i do have some spots right here this is hormonal from my period last night was a ginormous whitehead on my face it looked like it was ready to pop I put this on overnight and it is visibly so much smaller than it was last night. Again, this here, put that on last night as well. And this is actually like a cluster of zits right here. Just so you can see, this one has been a little bit more stubborn. It's a lot less compared to what it was yesterday. So these were all very bad last night and now they are starting to size their way down and this has just been really helping with all my spots this is probably the only acne treatment i will be buying again i have tried everything in the stores and nothing has worked for me the Burt's bees literally does nothing hands down best acne spot treatment i have ever used so if you are like me and have tried literally everything go try this i really really like this and last but not least, we have one more product that I've been seeing on TikTok a lot. 
it is this not your mother's all your eyes on me 10 in 1 i've seen a lot of people talk about this being like a detangler or a smoother it does so much more than that this it has everything on the back it adds body detangles adds shine protects moisturizes controls frizz repairs dry hair it's a heat protectant it mends split ends and creates silkiness now i haven't put this on today this is how my hair naturally is i washed it yesterday it's not really that oily yet which is my hair it does get very oily but i do have a lot of tangles in it as you can see i have a little bit of like flyaways up here let's squirt this out see if it gets rid of some of these tangles in my hair Oh, this smells really good. It's a very, very light fragrance. It's not overpowering. I don't know what that smell is. I think it's just like a light, perfumey fragrance. It has keratin in it. That's supposed to be good for making your hair grow. But this is supposed to be... It says instantly transforms unmanageable hair. My hair gets tangly as soon as I walk outside. I've only brushed my hair this morning, and let's try to brush my hair to see if it got rid of some of those tangles. Alright, so I have my hair brush. Let's see. I can definitely feel some tangles in it, but that was a lot easier than normal. I have no snarls, no nothing. It's very smooth. See, this side has more hair. Of course, I can feel like some of the tangles. It doesn't magically get out all the tangles, but it's a lot easier to brush my hair. I'm not like roughhousing my hair trying to get this like tangles out. It does look a lot smoother. It feels smooth. It feels pretty silky actually i've never tried like i used to use detanglers all the time when i was a kid just because i'd have like the worst knots in my hair but that was really good so it's supposed to do all of these things i don't know if i immense split ends i don't have any to kind of show you i definitely think this is a great tangler i would definitely use this as a heat protectant never used a heat protecting it before and i know i should so this is probably good for like a lot of different reasons it was relatively cheap i think it was like eight to ten dollars but yeah i mean i can't see you going wrong with this it does all these different things you only need to use this for many different problems that you might have so i definitely think this is a good product to have on hand hopefully it does everything like it says the detangling and the shine I definitely see has a good silkiness look to it. I think I'll definitely be keeping this one and testing it out more, seeing if it really helps with being a heat protectant. So I definitely think it's good for shines, moisturizing, silkiness, control, frizzing. It adds a little bit of body. It's very hard to do for in my hair, so I'm not going to knock it off points for that one. but. Um, I'm definitely interested to see if it's a good heat protectant. Hopefully it is and this is just an all-in-one product that you can use. I think I definitely like this and I think I'm going to hold on to it. So that has been all the products that I am going to show you today. These for the most part went viral on TikTok and I wanted to see what it was about, if they're worth it, if they're not worth it. Most of these are pretty good actually and I really like them. So TikTok shows me something new every single day that I need in my life that I didn't even know about. So there you have it. I really enjoy most of these products. If you're at all interested in having me test any of these, let me know down below if you've seen other viral TikToks that you aren't sure work, you want to have a me test. Let me know down below what those are feel free to comment and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed 
and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you're notified of every time that I post a brand new video. And that is all for this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!